You know, we don't typically in MMA see a corner stoppage, you know, the corner throwing in the towel. And I'd love to kind of get your perspective on perhaps why we don't see enough of that. And perhaps should we um, see more of that from corners protecting their fighters in the cage? Yeah, that was a big thing, especially coming up in the kickboxing world. Like, you know, especially when you had, you know, standing eight counts that are involved and you're getting knocked down and allowing your opponent to get back up to their feet. That can be very dangerous. You know, I, people say boxing is more dangerous than MMA. And I agree when it comes to taking headshots. You know, sometimes you don't get that three knockdown rule. You know, sometimes you do. You get knocked down. That could be a, con a concussion. They allow you to continue. You know, in MMA, it's not like that. So very rarely do you get that. If you get hurt, normally there's going to be a finish. But sometimes you get a guy out there, for instance, for a good, good, good example, the Tony Ferguson fight. Um, I forgot who he fought, but it was, I, I was literally yelling at the TV to, for the referee to stop it. When you're standing out there and you're bloody, you're battered and you're shaking your head, like trying to wake yourself up, like, like, all right, guys, that, that's, that's enough. I think there's, sh there, there should be a rule where your corner man is allowed to do so is allowed to throw in the towel because us fighters, we're not going to give up. We're not going to quit. Right. Yeah, we're not going to go out there like and we it's like me and my dad, even even me saying that me and my dad have this unwritten rule. This unwritten thing that we have, like we're not going to throw in the towel towel, like either I'm going to come back with my shield or I'm going to come back on it. Kind of the old Spartan, you know, mentality, like don't ever throw in the towel for me. Yeah. You know, but at the same time, the, your coaches are there to make sure that you're, that you're safety first, that you're able to fight and live, you know, and, and be able to have a, a, a normal conversation with your grandkids as you get older. And I think that's, that's something. So during that fight, it wasn't actually the, the, the corner who actually threw in the towel. It was Kevin Holland saying, take this, take my gloves right. off. Like, I'm yeah. done, right. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously the corner was like, okay, the fight's over. But it was more Kevin Holland saying that. But yeah. I think there should be a rule where maybe or somebody out there, maybe it's not your corner, man, but somebody there on the side. Ready to throw in the towel if they think you're, you know, they're taking too much punishment. Right. And maybe that could be too controversial, but. You've got to take care of each other, man. We got to take care of you. I, I know so many fighters out there right now who slur their words when they talk, you know. Yeah. Take too much punishment out there or not allowing them. So they retire and then come back when they shouldn't be back. And they're just taking punishment, man. Uh, you know, I, that's something that I told my dad, you, either I'll do this as long as my body will let me or when my dad says I'm done. If he thinks and he knows me more than I know myself at this point, I will continue to fight forever. But I know in my head, if my dad says I'm done, he sees something in me or out there in the fight that I'm taking too much punishment now. And I need to stop. And that's what I'm done. That's what I'm going to call it today. He knows me more. And, and, you know, to have somebody in your corner or in your training camp or, or somebody close to you that you respect that can tell you that to your face. We have a lot of less, a yes men around us nowadays, right. a lot of fighters, a lot of yes men. And they will just tell you what you want to hear and not take care of you. So I think we need more, more of those guys, more of the guys that will tell you like it is you're done, man. Stop. Thanks for watching this episode of Smack Talk with Sandu. And hey, do me a favor, hit the like button, drop a comment, give me some feedback, let me know what you think. Share the video with your friends, help me blow this whole thing up. And hey, if you really enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel for more conversations, more interviews and more amazing video content coming soon.